Now this is again a problem sent to me by a student called Caesar. And, uh, and again, this is a problem on symbol interest. If a certain principal amounts to 44,000 at 5% per annum, simple interest over two years, how much will it amount to in three years at the same rate? So basically, uh, let's write what is given first. So we want to find principal, we don't know, a certain amount, a certain principal. So let me write that as X. So our principal is say X. The amount is 44,000 rupees. Say 44,000 rupees. So this has principal plus interest. The rate is 5%, 5% per annum. Whenever you have rate of interest is always per 100 per annum. And this is simple interest, and number of years is two. N is two years. And from this, we want to find, this is one part, uh, with the same rate of interest, we know the answer is 46,000. The student has also given the answer. How much will it amount to? So the second part is, we'll first find the uh, principal from here. What is the amount? What is the amount you want? So let's call that Y. Your number of years is three, per, three years. And R is the same. R is 5%. So first we'll have to find the principal. So how will we do? So it's a good uh, practice to start with an assumption. So let your principal be rupees 100. Your principal is say rupees 100. So how much would you how much interest would you get after one year? Well, your rate of interest is 5%. So 5% is, or 5% per annum is, for every 100 rupees, you'll get 5 rupees. That means after one year, interest would be rupees 5. You will get 5 rupees of interest for one year. This is for one year. That means for two years, so let me write interest, let me write I1 here, and I2 means interest for two years. As it is simple interest, you'll not get interest on interest, you'll get only interest on the principal. So for second year also, you'll get five rupees. So at the end of two years, you'll get 10 rupees as interest. So this is at the end of two years. So we can say, well, the amount is going to be 100 plus 10, which is 110 rupees. 110 rupees. So now we're going to use proportion. So let's write principal and amount. Simple proportion. So we know 100 becomes 110 rupees. Now we know that the amount is 44,000 rupees. 44,000 rupees. So what is X? So it is simple proportion, so we can say the proportion of x over 100 is equal to 44,000 44, over 110. So this is x is equal to, multiplying both sides by 100, it is 44,400 uh, 44, times 100 over 11. So 11 goes in 44, four times. So this is x is equal to 40,000. x is equal to 40,000. So your principal, you started with, if you have 40,000 as principal, let's do oral calculation. So 10% is, so let's confirm whether this is right. So after one year, if it is 10%, percent, you'll get 4,000, okay? Uh, so as it is 5%, percent, you'll get 2,000 2, 2, rupees as interest for one year. So this is I1, interest after one year. And in interest after two years, you will have 4,000. 4, and that's right. So 44,000 is correct. So your principal is? Your principal is 40,000 rupees. Your interest principal is 40,000 rupees.
Okay, so we have to use this information to figure out now what would be the amount, how much would it, it means 40,000, would it amount to after three years. So interest uh, for three years, logically you can understand interest for one year is 2,000. So for three years, it would be 6,000. 6,000. So your answer is, your amount is 46,000. It's 46,000 rupees. And you confirm the answer. So basically, uh, let me get, uh, go over this. So <clears throat> first what you do is you start with the principal and you find interest for one year. At the rate of 5% is 5 rupees. For two years you'll get 10 rupees. Every year you're going to get 5 rupees. So at the end of two years, you're going to have an amount of 110, which is principal plus interest. Now then you can use a proportion and set up this column, principal and amount. And then we can say when the principal was 100, the amount was 110. So if the amount is 44,000, what would be the principal? And uh, of course, manipulating this, you'll get 40,000. Okay, there's one more problem. Uh, I want you to look at this problem, read this problem. The answer is also given. I will come back. So I'll, I'll read this problem for you. Sandeep borrowed 3,000 rupees for four years and 8,000 for two and a half years from Sonia at the same rate. If the total interest is 2,880, what's the rate? The answer is 9%. So it will be good practice. Uh, for you to do this and then I'll come back and do it for you if you can't do it.